Uh, you're a baseball historian, Larry. I like to think a man of history. When, he's, when, when uh, with Ortiz last night, if you had a vote, is he a Hall of Famer? I think so. I, I think so. I think uh, simply by virtue of being the best uh, designated hitter of his time, dominated that position and uh, dominated offensively in so many critical games, his postseason record. I actually think he is a Hall of Famer, but you wouldn't expect anything else from me, would you guys? <laughs> That's probably true. I mean, look, it's, if if you're going to allow any position to be in the Hall of Fame, I still don't understand why there's been this prejudice against the DH anyway up till now. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I think that baseball is a very slow-moving ship. You know, like an oil tanker. It's hard to turn it away from some of its uh, directions and traditions and uh, and uh, attitudes. Uh, but uh, I think Ortiz, by by himself, has uh, unilaterally changed the perception of the DH role. We were we were making this point earlier, and uh, and and this is in admiration when I say this. I don't think there's been a brush fire for the Red Sox this season. Or or if there has been, you've done such a good job, the organization has done such a good job keeping it behind closed doors. We don't know about it. Has there been one? Um, not really. Not that I can identify. I'm, uh, uh, per- personally, I'm not that uh, I would, I would uh, specify exactly what it might be, but uh, um, I really can't think of any. I think that uh, uh, John Farrell and the uh, coaches, and I emphasize the coaches, uh, I often say they get too little credit and too little blame. I think there's a there's a kind of harmony uh, down in that clubhouse, and it certainly flows from winning, but it also precedes winning in, in many ways. So um, um, I I really don't re- remember uh, many many issues, if any, that have arisen of the kind of sideshow variety. I think you're referring to. I guess 2004 would be an obvious answer, but uh, accepting that, can you think of another year where your team is as lined up rotation wise for a postseason run? Well, 2004 is a year that stands by itself. Right. I think in our starting our starting rotation, those uh, five guys did not miss a turn on the entire season because of injury or any other factor. So that's that, that's remarkable. But um, uh, and I think the answer to, to, to your question depends a little bit about uh, on the return of Clay Buckholz. You know, he's got to uh, get himself back into a position where he is uh, what he was, uh, and there, there may be a little uh, a ring rustiness that he's got to uh, uh, deal with. Uh, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm uh, optimistic, and that's a phrase, a sentence you don't hear from me all that often. <laughs> there, there are some things that are just inexplicable in baseball, but they happen all, uh, all the same. Uh, there's a certain pitcher who owns a team. There's a certain hitter who owns a pitcher. It just is the way it is. And this is one of those weird, fluky years where your team just doesn't score runs for John Lackey. He had to be sitting there last night saying, just give me four of those. In the middle of the game, I got an email from a fan saying, wonder what John Lackey's thinking right now. So. It's one of those weird things. I mean, and, and a couple of years ago, I know he got great run support. This is just the year where it doesn't happen for him. Well, Despite that, I think that I'm, I'm glad you focused on uh, on John because he is someone who has been uh, somewhat misunderstood, uh, in my opinion, by the media and by the fans here in past years. He is a uh, he's a very good teammate. His guys uh, uh, respect him and like him and enjoy him, and um, and I'm sure they're as frustrated as anything as anyone that they cannot score um, enough runs when he's pitching. But let's focus on how well he has pitched. I I think he's pitched as well as he has in many, many years. And I think he said that himself. Uh, bouncing back from the injuries that he played through uh, here for a couple of years, uh, it's uh, it's a great story. And uh, I think we were not, most people did not anticipate such a, uh, a successful season uh, to this point uh, last uh, before the season began. But many of us were optimistic that John Lackey uh, was was going to uh, bounce back and, and show the public the kind of uh, uh, pitcher he was and uh, and have some success this year. And it's it, it's a great story, no matter what the numbers say. For more, visit weei.com/video.